The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has admitted for the first time that contaminated groundwater is seeping from the site into the ocean. The statement comes two weeks after workers recorded a spike in levels of cesium and other substances in monitoring wells near the plant. The first signs of increasing concentrations of radioactive materials were reported in May. In early July, levels of cesium jumped by about 100 times over the space of four days. At the time, officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company said they didn't have enough data to determine if contaminated groundwater was leaking into the ocean. But nuclear regulators contradicted this statement, saying a leak was highly likely. TAPCO engineers analyzed the levels of groundwater inside monitoring wells between January and July. They concluded that a drop of those levels indicates contaminated water is leaking into the ocean. We sincerely apologize for causing concerns to so many people, particularly those who live in Fukushima. Utility officials say levels of another radioactive substance called tritium have been rising inside the facility's port, but they say the impact of the leak is limited because concentrations of tritium remain low at the port's exit and off the coast. The head of a local fishermen's union says he was shocked to learn the situation is so different from what the utility has been claiming until now. Fishermen are angry at the operators of the Fukushima nuclear power plant. Tokyo Electric Power Company has admitted that contaminated underground water is seeping into the ocean. About 100 fishermen attended a private briefing session by TEPCO. Officials from the utility reportedly said this spread of contamination is limited. They also explained their plan to build walls along the coast to prevent tainted water from leaking into the ocean. Some fishermen reportedly said TEPCO officials may have deliberately concealed the information. Others say they cannot trust the firm. I've lost hope. I feel nothing but anger. The fishermen are also worried about the impact on their plans to resume fishing on a trial basis in September. The head of a local fisheries cooperative said the announcement is a serious blow. A TEPCO official expressed his sympathy. The issue of the contaminated water is a real concern for the fishermen. I can't apologize enough. Nitsuma also said TEPCO will take a series of measures to try to rectify the situation. The operator of the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has admitted that radioactive water has been leaking into the ocean, and a senior Japanese government official had sharp words for the utility. Tokyo Electric Power Company officials announced on Monday that new findings suggested tainted water has been entering the ocean since April. We should have learned more from the mistakes that we've made. So far, we're not seeing such a big impact on the ocean. We'll have to analyze more to understand the scale of the leakage. Officials from the industry ministry inspected the plant later on Monday. Senior Vice Minister Kazuyoshi Akaba called the situation deplorable. He criticized TEPCO officials for being unresponsive. TEPCO's actions seem too slow and don't live up to our expectations. TEPCO says the contamination is contained in an area of a port near the plant. Workers are using chemicals to solidify the ground surrounding the wells to stop further leakage. Officials at Japan's nuclear regulator are angry at the operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. They say the utility was too slow to find ways to stop contaminated groundwater from seeping into the ocean. Highly radioactive substances have been detected in the plant's monitoring wells near the Pacific Ocean since May. Tokyo Electric Power Company admitted for the first time on Monday that tainted water is leaking into the ocean. TEPCO reached the conclusion after analyzing water levels in the wells and comparing them with tide levels. The Nuclear Regulation Authority says TEPCO took too long to act. The regulator plans to study ways to locate and stop the leak.
Crews at the plant are trying to prevent further leaks. They're injecting chemicals into the soil to solidify it. They're working to create new two walls that would be about 14 meters deep and 90 meters long. The walls would be back to back and separate the facility from the ocean. TEPCO officials say the level of radiation in the area is as high as 200 microsieverts per hour. Five hours of exposure is equivalent to the annual allowable limit for humans. Crews are wearing protective clothing to guard against the radiation. They do most of the work at night to avoid heat stroke. Officials say the work is scheduled to finish before the middle of next month. The future of nuclear power has been a matter of public debate since 2011 when an accident crippled a plant in Fukushima. Eventually, all of Japan's 50 commercial reactors were offline. Citizens launched demonstrations last year against a decision to restart two units. But since then, the passion for protests has faded. NHK World's Yochiro Tateiwa went to find out why. The aftermath of the 2011 nuclear accident prompted protest after protest against atomic energy and plans to restart idle reactors. Sometimes thousands of people gather, sometimes hundreds of thousands. Tatsuya Yoshioka organized some of the demonstrations. He was thrilled people showed so much passion. More than 60% of the Japanese people, the, especially this uh, civil society opinion, is very strong to, against the nuclear power plants. But month by month, Yoshioka watched their passion fade as people shifted their focus to other issues. Reconstruction from the disaster is much more important than the nuclear issue. Nuclear plants are a complex issue because there are so many points of view. I don't have an instant opinion. I would like to see nuclear power plants restart. Electric bills are too expensive. Yoshioka is trying to reignite a nationwide discussion about the use of nuclear energy. We lose opportunity then really to shift the, our society toward to the nuclear power free. Yoshioka says he's frustrated. Japanese seem to have forgotten about the risks nuclear plants pose. Without nuclear power, utility companies are importing more oil and gas. They've started to pass those costs on to their customers. They've been pushing to restart reactors. So have the executives of big corporations. They say Japan needs a stable energy source. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and his ruling Liberal Democratic Party have been making the same argument. They support the nuclear industry, provided it's well regulated. Nuclear power plants that meet new safety requirements shall be restarted in accordance with professional judgment. Leaders of opposition parties all say they want to abolish nuclear energy in the future. But so far, they've failed to present concrete ways of achieving it. The Fukushima accident exposed the risks and the expense associated with nuclear power. But Yoshioka says Japanese have become complacent. Day by day, that uh, the memory of the or impression of the March 11th is uh, going bad. The utility company have started the process of restarting their nuclear power plants. But we must not let the memories of March 11, 2011 fade. Regardless of our personal views on nuclear energy, it's clear that more debates on how to power the country is essential. Yoichiro Tateiwa, NHK World, Tokyo.